Hi, what's up guys? It's Roscoe here. I'm going to do a PvP pet battle video and I'm going to use this 100% meme team Wild Enders. Uh, it has massive drawbacks um, that I have found out. So, one is it's not great against Sandstorm teams, especially idols. Uh, it's massively struggled. So much so that maybe Holy Shrike would be worthwhile. <laughs> um, the meme though is really good, so it has two ways to actually end the world. <laughs> and I've got my main man here that's gonna cause me trouble big time. Of course, I went with the Nether Roach to scare people. <laughs> it's like, oh, this is uh, this is definitely gonna have strong damage versus me. Let's go. Now let me get free, some free damage off on something. The bone serpent would be pretty bad. I mean, you got a yolo it, right? One of those misses, it'd be great. <laughs> okay. It's going to be difficult for. The Never Edge. Only triples, bro. Dangerous. So. Gonna have to go under, potentially, here. Now let's go. Probably decided the game. <laughs> Not gonna be enough. Land <laughs> Like, come at me, bro. And who said a never age with apocalypse would not be worthwhile? The best thing, so I deliberately picked the never age because obviously you'd only pick the never age to run never blast, right? Like, what, why else would you pick it out? If we go to the top here. So there's a handful, maybe more. There's this one quicker as well. This what have they got? They got spat oh got dispatch. Yeah, okay. But you see, why would you pick out out of all of these roaches that have the SS breed? Why would you pick out Never roach if you're not going never blast. It becomes a bit more difficult when you start playing the same people over and over. Let's see. I would imagine if I play that guy again, he'll get some retribution. No. This I might be able to get the combo off. Let's go. Let's do this. Not great because of the damage and how I do it, so 
are you actually quicker than me? <laughs> well, this... This can put a dot up, by it. Right here, too. Oh, it does, yes. <laughs> what do you, um... Weak damage, that's unfortunate. Because I'm quicker... You're not going to trigger my racial first. Okay. So whilst that's doing that, well that's doing that, let's bring him back. Still got that mech racial. I actually thought for a second I wasn't going to do nothing, it might not have. What you're running for? <coughs> Let's go for the head game. All over you, bro. So this faster though, uh, well, let's deal with it. Not really worth it, but... survive. It's going to become a bit of a attrition. Won't be enough. <laughs> Get this rolling. I don't think it's necessary to go for a second apocalypse. With the dot, it could be well worthwhile. Ending that guy's world <laughs> with the meme dream. It's 100% my favourite combination with Finn doing. Uh, you could potentially do it with the Val. What about the, is it Gilneas? The Varnus? <clears throat> it would stop you getting in that awkward position where. It'll just spam them away. The, he the health is good. I think the health. Because it means with a swap. If it's a. And if it's a Skyfin, brings in the Bombling. Because I, I don't know how I'd feel about it bringing in uh, a Gilvanus. I mean, not bad. There'd be situations where this guy would be very good. <laughs> Cool, and I was literally about 20 seconds, Q-Pops. Potentially a fun team to play. But the Humanoid is good. I have a quicker pet against this. Let's go. Some might work. If fair men's would stop me from swapping out.
I think quite often maybe people think that people running in Never Age is really bad. <laughs> You got 12 rounds, the rabbit is potentially the thing that could cause me the most trouble. Let's go into this, we we'll probably way to bring it back. Let's go for the dot. My opponent was actually quite greedy there. Dropping the bomb. And I'm not fussed about the racial here, but they've probably both got flurry. <laughs> this rabbit will be going down. <clears throat> I just need to swap that in on the last round. I've never seen what happens out in the darkness. Let's get some protection there. In it comes. G G. Should have played a roach, bro. Up to seventy three per cent. Don't play idols, <laughs> don't don't go against dot teams and you will be absolutely in the clear. It's actually genuinely quite fun, although the gimmick is unique, I suppose. It's using, a, it's using pets and abilities that are very strong with the res, as well as coverage to an extent. The beasts are strong versus this. Bang. Undead to Sean versus this. Here we go. Flyers may be an issue. Maybe. And other mechs with that weak damage, strong damage. So it kind of works. Kind of a. I mean, it's a gimmick, but it's <laughs> a fun one. Anyway, give this uh, team a try, the World Enders, with the double World End, Armageddon, or Apocalypse, take your pick. Anyway, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.